Okay, so it's DIY day 34. Got my day started by loading up a trailer. Got our hot shot guy. Got one going to Canada. I guess we got to go into the border in Canada. One to Wisconsin and, and one to California. You ready for the trip? Yeah. I think this is how we need to do it. We need to load you up with about five of these at once. That'd be the money maker. I get them going the same direction. Right now, truck freight is it's crazy expensive and yeah, the, the quality of getting it moved three or four times from terminals and forklifts and nobody gives a rip. Yeah. All right, so very good. So you got, you got your ride ahead of you. And your daily dose of Daryl, he's off the class table and onto the drill press. Put holes in the pieces you made yesterday. These are rear end brackets. Yeah. Making a few of them. We well, got some of them made up over there already. Production. It's all about production. So we get the holes, get the different pieces, so it kind of you can see when it's all done. Are these hot? They're all hot. hot. They're really? Hot. That's the first. Sub-assembly, assembly, and then we get welded onto this one goes onto a used rear end. We got a bunch of new rear ends, so that's what we got going on for Daryl. And here we got Fast Eddie encroaching on Daryl's face. Are you getting it out of here? Huh? You getting it out of here? Yeah. So we're we're putting the column in. I guess that's what you're doing. Yeah, well I got that <laughs> patched up. Had to uh, move it over an inch. So I fill this back in, then I fiberglass it inside, wait for that to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the, the master cylinder hole and put the brake pedal up through the floor. Okay, so getting the brake pedal, getting the master cylinder. We need to run three joints really, so you need to have a yeah, there, rod in for your decal. One here, to go I done through. got it set up, and the, this rod will come, come through here to this. And then we'll have another another joint from there mm -hmm. down to the steering box. Once we get that set up. Yeah, but in the meantime, we got to cut a little bit out of this motor belt right here because the rod's going to be running right through it. Anyway, this will be plenty of stout. I have a new plan. Oh, we have no. to just show this just because what? If, if you want people to watch your video, you got to give them some eye candy. So yeah. we'll here's some eye candy getting all that figured out. Doing the, doing the turnkeys, there's no easy way. There's no one way. Oh, there you go. Now you know. Yeah. So here's the new plan. See all them bodies on the truck over there? We keep doing our DIY series. And we teach people how to do it. There's no way we can we can really do turnkeys here. Right, yeah. I mean, it's just... This is insanity. And then we have the insan, a T. We're slim pickings around here. Yeah, slim pickings, getting people that can do all of this. So we're just going to have to show folks how. And even if we double, doubled our labor weight rate. and Well, I mean, if we did that and got a much smaller shop and said don't do anything else, we could do the turnkey thing. But it doesn't blend. No. <laughs> I mean, originally we did a lot of turnkeys for engineering. And uh, when you get to it like this, this level everyone's a little bit different anyway yeah i mean they all don't have the a same. big box yeah. ford or they all don't have a big box uh, like a hemi or a, <coughs> right or a ford motor or a, yeah. you know flathead or so that's going to be a little bit of different so i think what we're going to do is just this is diy day 34 for me that's six days left i was in the office yesterday doing a lot of paperwork mm -hmm. <laughs> getting there <laughs> Breaking through some roadblocks. Yeehaw! <laughs> yeah. We got the red light turned off and it's green now. Oh, okay, good. That's good. good. That's so, good. <laughs> so yeah, is this one move over to the mean green machine next? Yeah. Did yeah. we get them two set up? We can start pulling these apart, painting chassis, and yeah, moving ahead. As soon as Daryl gets some rear ends painted or um, finished up here, I yeah. think I'm gonna put him on doing the fenders for the Midas Touch. Get them done. Right. Anyway, just, just make her rounds. I don't know if I want to show everybody our parking lot out there. Oh yeah, All a couple of cars. <laughs> kind of slim. <laughs> I don't know how many hundred thousand 
I don't know how many square feet we got with all the buildings at the show bunch. Off my classic truck out there. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you ain't got a good one today. So, he's the only guy I know, Scott. How many vehicles you got? Oh. On any given day. Uh, classic cars. I've got from the '64, the '55, the '72 Charger, '84 Nova, a '68 Chevy tr truck. I got a '62 Impala. Got a 70 Chevy pickup, a 1966 Comet Caliente convertible. <laughs> yeah, Fancy. and you're, you're not even getting deep into the woods yet at your house. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Always a project. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to yeah. move on. Lots of rolling stock, I call it. Yeah, lots of rolling stock. Rolling stock. Some of it don't roll, but that's all right. All right, I'm going to go do some body work. All right. There he is. So you got two jobs now? Two one at jobs. home and one here? Huh? You got two jobs now, one at home and one here? Yep. A little double dipping, huh? Yep. My custom made tool. Custom made tool, yep. cleaning up the inside. Yep. Of a Model A sedan. It's going home Monday. 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 See this right. board over here? Yep. It's getting cleared off. I filled it, actually I filled it up and there was more cars than I could even put on there. Oh. <laughs> and remember I put the dates on there and how old they were? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up again and put put some more cars. We got more cars, but we're in a We're in a realistic time frame Good. So if we actually sell a, a body a Couple of these aren't Like I, you know, I told people they were made wrong When I say made wrong, we got suicide hinges on a, on a Model A nobody ordered that no, I'm going to take that and we're going to put the hinges the other direction. Okay. Unless somebody wants it, we'll make you a deal. So a couple of these are sold. They aren't on the board. But, uh... Getting them done. Yeah, we're down to, uh... This sedan goes Monday and that'll go off that board. That's good. Getting them done. Sent some cars out today. Right. Kind of made the executive decision. We're going to cut way back on the turnkey stuff. Oh, yeah? Like, not to them. Uh, we got to get these that we got done, done, get production going here. I like the turnkey stuff. Well, so do I, but the only way we can do it is focus. We have to double our labor rate on it. And, yeah. To, you know, we can't. Okay. Right. Just don't work. It's not working. I know you like to, well, maybe we can build, we'll just build one at a time yeah. in-house. <laughs> You know, seriously, in-house, we'll do our engineering off of that. Yeah. And then uh, I'll know the customer. Yeah, and if he's not patient, I'll, I'll knock myself in the head. Right. So. Well, oh, I'm not. Did you want me to stop working while you video? No. Okay. <laughs> I want I'm... you to say hi to your girl so I can go do something. Hey, girls. <laughs> Have fun today. Have fun today. They'll, 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 the day will be over by the time they see this. Yeah, they don't have a class on Friday. That's their day off. Are they homeschooled? Uh, they, it's uh, uh, online public school. Huh. So, yeah, it's uh, public school, but online. I'm familiar with that. Yeah. They like it. Yeah. Yeah. I got most of my, I got seven grandkids and out of seven only one of them goes to public school the rest of them are homeschooled oh do they do that online public or no the homeschool well, well they're part of different groups and yeah. what have you yeah well yesterday homeschooling included playing with legos yeah. they're <laughs> their folks are out of town for a couple of days so we're the homeschoolers although i see my grandson he's like reading a book away in the chair yesterday and they're, i mean they're doing their work that's their favorite thing to do is read yeah all right, well, my favorite thing to do is body work, so I better start doing something. Huh? My least favorite. <laughs> no, it is. Yeah, you like to paint. Thanks for helping me on this one, though. All right. We'll get her done. All right. Part of my day includes cleaning things up. I've only got like six days left on my DIY foreman thing, and I'm going to have to be the go back to being production manager. So this isn't all the sales. We got a lot of them, or don't we don't have to build anything in house? But uh, this is all of our in house sales. A lot of that stuff is built top row. I mean, a lot of that is turnkeys. Got my work orders. I'm like, no work, no work order. So we got that working with the, the front office and Josh over there. I'm, I'm helping him clean up parts. So that's what I'm gonna go do now, put parts by everybody's cars. Go dig through them boxes, find the last of Bill's parts. Look for some other parts for some other cars and uh, 
get Eddie pushing ahead on turnkeys. Pick, I think we just need to get the car with no name out of here. It's so close. And then uh, get Daryl on to putting some fenders on. And we got steering columns going in. We can pull them bodies off. I can start painting chassis. So uh, kind of wrap my head around all the stuff that we got going. But that's part of my part of my day. You're just watching me journal here. So you're just walking along with me for the day. Uh, coming up pretty soon. Well, right after, right after we finish the 40-day challenge, I'm going to do do a more strategic, either a uh, maybe a daily um, kind of a tips thing for different projects, and then we're going to start doing videos of the of the projects that we have, and uh, I do them so you can watch them start to finish that way. Really working on getting a, a video production person so that's coming together we get a double dose of daryl today have we learned anything uh, by american made <laughs> <laughs> by uh, american made so you're living in a different world than, yeah. <laughs> than reality so what we're doing we're putting brackets on an 8.8 .8. here's what i learned we no longer offer an 8.8 .8. We searched everywhere for this one, and it was not like awesome. So clean it up. You got the brackets on it, but to put disc brakes on it. There is no bolt-on kit nowhere, so you had to assemble it and then weld it on. Put it together and weld it on. So this will be the last 8.8. .8, last time we do this, we're going to go into production mode where we don't have to change it up every time. So we got rear ends. You got a couple here, a couple here. One there is ready to go. That looks like for a Model A. One here, that one's going for 27. So knocking out the rear ends. And I'm gonna not just jump over to Eddie here. Looks like you've been gnawing. Uh oh. <laughs> so this is like an all day project. There is no easy way. We got it going in the right direction? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. Did you cut this out yet in the motor mount, what you were talking about? No, this has been fighting me all day. Oh. You're going to put the ball and socket up in the, in the car? No, it's going to be outside here. Outside? I see what you got to do. You can't get enough angle on it. So you got to take oh, a bunch oh, of it oh, out. Yeah. See been what there, I mean? Been there, done that. Yeah, so, so you... When it sits in here, it'll be the right angle to come down and then go. Yep. So you have to gnaw on it for a while. And I started to put it back in there a while ago, and it didn't have long enough bolts, and it's just been. So I think I got it going my way now. Okay, well, it'll be all pretty when you're done. Yeah, it'll all be set up, so. Uh, here's something else I did, though. Yeah. The brakes. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah. So you glued that, cut that piece out and glued it. Yeah, and that way we'll sit right, right down in there. And once we paint the car, this will all be painted. Yep. Got that. Yeah, it makes it look clean underneath that way. Yep. And then it's got a cover. Okay. It won't fall through. <laughs> you got your mock-up column. Yeah. And when this is done, it can go, actually we can pull the body off here and Yeah. we got to do the brackets in the front right. for the motor. And this thing's about ready to paint the chassis then. Yeah. Yep. You'll put the... uh I get this all bolted up and I'm going to run the D-shaft through here. So the D-shaft to go through there, where's the rod end going to go? Go on this side over here? Yeah, yeah. So it'll be off over here. It'll be sucked up against the frame. We're going to have to trim a little bit out of, the, out of that. And, uh, Anyway, it's going to work. Get some steering. Not a lot of room. No, it's not. Of course, one of these would be just right past that. Uh huh. You know, and going on down here to the. And you definitely need box. that rod end to keep it sturdy. Yeah, and you keep put it three sturdy. Joints in there. Yeah, because no, it's just going to flop around. That's not good. No. Nope. 
Well, and the headers come out and over, so they're not. Gonna yeah, be they're away. they're going to be out here. So. Yeah, so that's and then the whole thing you got to fight with. Come through here and then back in here. So we got got plenty of room. Is it located yet? The oil filter? Uh, no, I don't think so. But uh, Daryl's got an idea where it's going to go. Breaks her up. Yeah. Kind of a, it's an issue. It, it seems like it always takes a little bit of figuring to get these brakes in and get. Oh that, yeah, yeah. Get the steering column in, especially on something like this where you yeah. don't have a lot of room. So. Getting there, we can show big, this. Big up. motor, little car. <laughs> big motor, little car. Yeah, they weren't exactly designed to, to have a big motor uh, like this. No. But it, it's got a stiff frame. It'll, this was a. I mean, it holds up now. Yeah. Ahead of its time and its day, it had a, it had a V8. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, well, good. You're moving ahead. So, looks like this will be a done Monday project. Yeah. And then next, my boy Aaron, Prime, picking up finally. These cars have been done for a while, but we're finally getting them. Last three going to Arizona. Got one on, one almost on, one coming down the aisle. Man, that'll be, be a big day. Get them all gone. All I gotta do is <laughs> build a room, get the soapbox derby cars ready for tomorrow. Big show and flipping. Still clean up a few more parts. And, uh, I think work on Harvey's uh, car a little later on today. Put that one on here. All, All right. right, big day. We're loaded. All right. Off to Arizona.